today I'm going to show you how to just rig the mesh just you know adding the biped not actually getting it set up for the game Halo CE but just rigging it so you know you can fool around with it so pretty much you have your mesh already made and uh, to start out we will go to the little tab right here click biped uh, we'll do drag position in the southern mass chief setup uh, neck link one spine two leg three zero on all the tails uh... he's got zero fingers zero links uh... you have to keep at least one tone one toe link uh... he's set up with a seventy height usually but uh... yeah you can change that after so pretty much just plop him in uh, then we go to the motion tab you click figure right, we move him see he's a little bigger than my ninja dude so I'll edit that after rotate him the right way you want to get it to 90 though so you know like see the top tab has the point five, which really helps even out to 90 alright then we use the scale tool right here we just use the rotate tool by the way uh, actually we'll just go back to structure and we'll lower his height uh... yeah that looks about good um... yeah let's check out alright yeah he's good so I'm sorry so now we will edit him appropriately so that he will fit how my biped looks how he's already set up with his hands up so we'll raise his arms yeah if I can get the hand stretch it out all the way alright now as you can see his arms don't make it all the way and his shoulders are too high so we can easily fix that so we just go here pick on the cavicle or loam to about right there you know whatever works uh... also see how like right here would be a joint yeah this bone is starting a little early it seems so we're gonna want to make the upper arm a little longer so we'll snag the upper arms and we'll just straighten that out first and then the X will make them a little bit longer that looks about right so now we'll take the forearms and we'll stretch it so the hands actually make it and that looks about it alright so we'll leave the arms for now and we'll just finish up now for Halo CE you can't have the toes but you can't have a biped without the toes so we'll take them, we'll unlink them right click, convert to editable mesh convert it one more time to editable mesh and I screwed up saying that but I don't care so now we will take each foot and we will move them over as you can see the toes are staying which is great uh, see how his leg is bent a little yeah we want to make that work so yeah that's looking about right we'll make them to scale after we'll go back to the hands now though um... as you can see in my top view the hands weren't actually like on there so so my hands are pretty much there you know it'll all move which is good see what it's height is yeah that's a bit high 54 we want to keep it the same usually so select the other hand 54 uh, kinda like my name as you can see uh, his body right here part of his spine it's not stretched all the way you know it's just not really fitting too well so we'll increase the size a bit here 
um, go into our front, stretch out a little bit. Same with this one, just a little low, because you know he's got yeah. So um, let's make sure this is at zero low. All right, and our bipeds at zero. So make sure that they align up correctly. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. All right, so now they lined up correctly, but ooh, maybe not. Ah, we'll just start back. All right, that looks about good. About fitting, we can always just move this forward. Just gotta select the neck. We'll take that, we'll rotate it a bit. And we'll scale it to his actual neck a bit. We don't want to make it too big though. Yes, yeah, so that's about good. Actually, I want to move my mesh over. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, this is a little sketchy, but we're not actually making it so it's gonna go in game. So, just showing you how to rig him. All right, so he's looking a bit better. You know, I can just move everything if I really wanna. Like, see, his head is actually in there now. It's looking pretty good. Um, let's scale his legs. Actually, his legs look fine. You know, they're not like too far in from his actual out, but say his leg was like more wide and we had like a tiny little bone, like a fifth of it, we'd want to scale it, you know, you definitely want to up it, see like, yeah. So once we have that already, we'll select our mesh, modify our tab, scroll down, the skin skin it's very complicated it's got a lot you can do in here um like the white table that comes in help you know when you're actually doing the biped for the game so we'll click edit envelopes we'll add just those bones forget the toes once again unedit the envelopes and pretty much yeah his arm wasn't to scale I forgot about that so as you can see he's got stretch vertices um, but we can edit that. Just delete the skin. And we'll go back and fix that. Yeah, see his arms bent a little bit too. So. We'll just select them both. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Um. I say we scale them a bit too low. Yeah, we'll just do the upper arm for now. And. Yep, yeah, and. Not too big. Yeah, we should select the other one just for you. Keep it even. It's a little hard. There we go. So just a little and yeah, that's a little too much. Ah, we'll just leave that alone. Uh we'll try to skin it again now. Yeah. Yeah, you can just click and drag to select them all. And if it doesn't work, we can just edit the envelopes. So yeah, we still got a little left. So yeah, why not just go over editing envelopes. So you click that, right? Now what you can do is pretty much like edit the whole selection that each bone will cover on the mesh. So on the forearm, here we'll just go back to the right since we were looking at it before. As you can see, the red means that it has it, the yellow means that it still has it, and pretty much the blue means it's not going to take it. So those are vertices that it won't 
pick up when you're actually moving or rotating. So uh, red is good for the actual part. We'll just up it a little. Yeah, doesn't hurt. Up to the hand and the upper arm looks about right. So we'll just test that now. See? Look, no stretch vertices. Mm. Say hi. Uh. <laughs> uh, let's see how the hand is. Yay. It, see, you can just edit that with the vertices, you know, stretch it out more, whatever. If you got it after editing. So, uh, yeah, we'll just finish it up on the other side, I suppose. Edit. Left upper arm. And. Yeah, the upper arm was fine. Let's go to the forearm, though. Alright, so you snag the little boxes right here. There's two different boxes that you can edit. So you take that one, you just stretch them. See, this is the little one. And pretty much it'll move like the selection of the actual. Like, it's like a sub selection kind of. I don't know. If I make a bipod rigging one, then, like, for the game, then I'll cover that more. Like, how to actually get it in game. But this will work for in-game, it just probably won't come out too right. And plus I haven't gone over the nodes. So, uh, yeah. Let's make sure this hand works well. No stretch vertices. Yay! Let's check out the legs. No stretch vertices. As you can see, by, uh, right here. Gotta em edit the envelopes there. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. If you want to make a nice little render of it, which I'll just cover right now, because I'm bored. Uh, pretty much, once you have it all set up, your bipod in the position that you want them, which I think I'll edit. Grab his hand, bring it down to his side. All right, so now we select all the bones. Right click, hide selection. We'll create a nice little plane. Not really little, but who cares? Right click the scale button. Oh. Offset 1000. Really big. Really nice. Uh, we'll pick a nice little color right there. Rendering. Render. Advanced lighting. Light tracer. Yo. Uh, yeah. I kind of forgot how to do this, but I don't care. So yeah, you know, render. Ooh, little guy right there. Oh, I'll add a nice little light. Skylight. Not wrong one. Uh, I th think. Oh, yeah, it's right here. This one, this nice sky one right here. All right, so we will. Slowly but surely render. It's a bit bright too, so you can edit all that. But it'll have a nice little shadow effect. Yeah, it's too bright for me, but you, know, you get the idea. So yeah, that is how you rig a mesh to have bones and to be fully movable. So yeah, get out there and uh. Make some bipeds.